The human starship Odyssey, like one of many, limped through the void, its hull battered after narrowly escaping the destruction of Earth and its colonies by the conquering ravagers. Packed inside the overloaded vessel were tens of thousands of refugees with dwindling supplies, desperately searching for a new home among the stars. They had already landed on three inhospitable planets, each with disastrous results. On Emberon 12, toxic fungal spores caused severe sickness and damaged the ship's systems. On Hyperion 9, dangerously high oxygen levels wreaked physiological havoc. On Nysera 37, the acidic environment corroded their equipment. Each failure drained more resources and morale. Now, as their dilapidated ship approached the fourth planet, it was their last hope. Scans indicated possible habitability, but they also revealed an intelligent alien civilization on the surface, the one thing they had hoped to avoid. With the ship disintegrating around them, however, they had no choice but to initiate landing protocol. The weary crew solemnly prepared for first contact, unsure if they would be greeted with cooperation or conflict. Weapons were ready. The refugees braced for impact, hoping against hope that after so much hardship, they had finally found sanctuary. The Odyssey rumbled through the upper atmosphere, fires erupting from ruptured conduits and sputtering engines. The ship's infrastructure was in its death throes after enduring so much abuse. As the surface drew closer, scorched deserts gave way to verdant jungles and glittering seas. Maybe this would be their promised land, a haven to recover and start anew. Or perhaps paradise would be cruelly ripped away again. But either way, their journey was nearing its end after wandering the stars for so long without a home. The crew's mixed feelings of anxiety, hopefulness, and determination matched that of the refugees crammed into every corner of the deteriorating ship. All minds looked ahead to the future that would be decided on the planet below, one way or another. The crippled odyssey hurtled through the atmosphere as explosions tore open the hull. Icy violet fluid streamed out, dispersing into a massive shimmering rainbow visible to all below. The ship crashed in a flaming pyre its structure finally giving out. The dazed refugees emerged, prepared for conflict. Instead, slender humanoid aliens welcomed them warmly, their telepathic voices resonating peacefully. For the first time since Earth's fall, the humans felt hope. Though the Odyssey was lost, here they had found a gentle people to help them rebuild. Together they could forge a new future on this verdant world. But only days later, catastrophe struck. The aliens began perishing by the thousands, seized by a mysterious plague. Lab analysis confirmed the rainbow liquid was the cause. Harmless to humans, it proved lethal to the aliens. The full scale of the tragedy dawned on the refugees. Their desperate landing had unintentionally committed genocide, dooming a civilization. As the alien population dwindled, the humans could only mourn the innocent lives extinguished by their arrival. Though accidental, it was still slaughter, and the guilt sat heavy on human hearts. They vowed to honor their victims by learning from this failure. Though the planet could now be their home, it carried a solemn obligation to rebuild their ethics along with their cities. This haven, gained through calamity, must become the site of rebirth for human ideals. The humans promised to never forget the native people erased in pursuit of their own salvation. This tragedy would temper their hope with hard-won wisdom. They had found a new beginning among the stars, but the cost was greater than they could have fathomed.